So what I want to show you here is firstly how to uh, delete a standalone SharePoint site and secondly then how to restore that um, as an administrator. Now we need to have the rights obviously to go into the SharePoint and to be able to delete. Now one of the ways that again we can do that, we can navigate to our SharePoint site here, right? And then basically what we could do is select the cog up there. We can then go into site information and you'll see if we scroll down, there's an option there to delete a site. Now, firstly, you need to consider that many SharePoint sites are in fact uh, connected or tied into uh, Teams. So this means that you could be deleting a SharePoint site that is in fact tied to a team which may cause issues because the team still exists and the SharePoint site doesn't. So again, this is where we can get problems. We need to be very clear that in this case, we're talking about uh, working with standalone SharePoint sites. If you want to delete Teams, you need to work in the Teams environment. So the easiest way to see what's going on is to make sure you are a global administrator, log in to your tenant, go to the admin center, and then expand all the options, scroll down and select the SharePoint Admin Center. Now this will give us a list of basically all the sites in our environment. So if we go to sites and then active sites, you'll see a list of all the sites here. Now, if you have a close look at the primary admins, you'll notice that some of them are noted as single users, so the administrator uh, and so on. And you'll notice others are noted as group owners. So in general, any site that has this option here as group owners is going to generally be a Microsoft team or connected to other resources and generally should not be deleted uh, using the SharePoint abilities here. It should be deleted using Microsoft Teams because they are connected. However, these other sites here, you'll see that uh, basically the admin is the administrator. I'm very confident that these are standalone SharePoint sites not connected to a Microsoft team. So I can go in and delete these if I want. So you'll see here that I have three Contoso websites, one, two, and three. I want to cut this down and make it easier to work with. So I have confirmed that in fact, there is nothing in these websites that I need. So the first option we can uh, select to delete this site is actually we can go into um, the site and select the option uh, basically that I just showed you. So you go into the cog, we go into site information. Okay, scroll down and you'll see the option here to delete the site. Okay, now you'll see that we do get a warning that um, all the content in the files, all right, and is going to be removed. So I'm going to select uh, yes. Okay, so all of the site and its associated context will be deleted. So that deletion process will now kick off and again, um, that site will be removed uh, from people's access. Now, the other way that we can do this is, uh, again, let's just uh, refresh this page so we can see that, in fact, Contoso uh, Site 3 has gone, right? So it's now been removed from our admin center. Uh, it's actually over here in the deleted sites. Okay, so we'll come back to that shortly. But if we go back to our active sites and let's have a look at Contoso Web 2, which we also confirm we don't want. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select that. And then you'll see up the top, I have a uh, admin bar up here that I can select. If I pull down the option here under the ellipses, you'll see that I also have uh, the ability to delete it. So I'm going to go in and delete the second Contoso website. And I did that as an administrator. So again, I can navigate to the individual site and then delete it from that site, or I can do it from the admin. Probably the best practice is to actually go to the site so you get a visual understanding and remember what the site actually is and all about, rather than just doing it from the admin console where you sort of don't know exactly what the site uh, is. So uh, best practice would probably be go to the site and delete it, but you can certainly do it <laughs> from those uh, two locations. So the third one here, Contoso website three, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to delete that here, all right? So basically that has now been removed. I have no more Contoso uh, websites there. Now the challenge is, is let's say that for some reason, somebody didn't remove all the files or didn't copy all the files out of one of those websites and wants that information back. 
The good thing is, is like I said, if we go into sites and then deleted sites, and we probably will need to refresh our page here, we will see that all our sites that we recently deleted appear in here. Right, now you'll notice at the top here that they will be retained for 93 days by default. So they will sit in a recycle bin here for 93 days, allowing you to recover uh, that information. Now you'll also see the option here that if I am wanting to purge this information completely, I can select that site and then go into permanently delete, right? So basically this means that you won't be able to store it. Why would I want to do that? Well, I may want to do that to save in some of the space and use it in other um, SharePoint sites. So remember that across SharePoint, you get one terabyte uh, in total storage plus uh, 10 gigs per user. Now, if you're building uh, a lot of data into your sites, you may need to free up some space by deleting old sites. And that may mean you want to, again, go in once you've deleted the site because it's still retained in this recycle bin for 93 days and the space won't be released until 93 days. Uh, so because you might want to recover it. So if you do want to recover that space immediately, go into your deleted sites once it has been removed, select the site and then go in and select to permanently delete that site. Now, you'll see that the other option we've got here is also to restore. Now, let me just click on the link here. All right, so you'll see that that link uh, basically is not available. It means the site has been deleted, but it is sitting in the recycle bin, which means I can recover it. Now, to recover it, all I've got to do, as you see, is select here and then uh, select the option to restore, and it's going to recover that. Now, once it does that, if I go into... Um, my recovered items, uh, sorry, my active sites there, go down here. And again, you'll see here is my Contoso website too, now an active site. If I select the URL, you'll see that is all back and working as before with all the data as part of it. And if someone needs to re recover files or whatever, they could do that uh, from that location. All right. So again, you can delete a whole SharePoint site. You can do it from the site or you can do it from the admin center. Just be careful about deleting sites that are connected to Microsoft Teams and other shared resources. You can typically identify these because the primary admin is mentioned as group owners rather than an individual user. So again, just make sure you do double check that because you can get all sorts of problems if you do delete a SharePoint site that was part of a Microsoft team. Um, if not, the easy way to delete a SharePoint standalone SharePoint site is again just go in and delete it when you do that it will appear in the deleted items as we've seen here now in the deleted items here we can again select that item we can purge it by deleting it um, selecting the option here to permanently delete it free up the space immediately and we can also restore it now remember as I mentioned that deleted sites will be retained for a maximum of 93 days by default then they will automatically be permanent deleted so if you do delete a site by accident you have up to 93 days to come in here and recover that so once again uh, all the information about administrating SharePoint you'll find by going to the Microsoft 365 admin center and in there, once you expand all the options, you'll find that there is a SharePoint option that will take you to the SharePoint Admin Center. You can then go under Sites, look at your active sites. All right, go in there. And if you do want to, go in there and delete the site. When you do delete a site, it will appear uh, in the recycle bin here in the deleted sites. You can then choose to permanent delete or restore it from there. And again, the thing to be careful about is uh, SharePoint sites that are connected to Microsoft Teams and other shared resources, and typically those are denoted by uh, group owners there. Steer away from deleting them using this method. This method I've just shown you here is really for standalone SharePoint sites that aren't connected uh, or part of a Microsoft Team. If you do wish to delete sites that are part of a Microsoft Team, please go through the appropriate Microsoft Team process to do that. So again, thank you very much for watching this video.